It is the beginning of the second full day of this trip. Um, well, let me, hold on, let me check. It is still the morning of the second day of this trip. It is 11.43. Yeah, I know. Walking around with the knee braces and the back brace, it is a challenge. Um, my left knee does not like me this morning. It just doesn't. This eye decided to get swollen and puffy on me. Um, and I also wanted to just sleep in, uh, try to go ahead and uh, do some uh, a clean up and pack up because tomorrow morning I've got to be at the front desk, I believe, at 4.10 in the morning. That's when they're picking me up because my flight's at 6.10, so it's, it's a very, very early morning for me. So that being said, I'm, I'm trying to be nice to myself. So right now I technically have park reservation at Animal Kingdom. However, if I just take the boat from this building here, well, not this building, but from the main building over, I can get gluten-free beignets. So that's what we're doing for breakfast. So I get some gluten-free beignets, and then we're gonna head out to the parks, and we're not sure if it's gonna be Animal Kingdom or if I'm gonna cancel it and do something else. Um, but there are churros in my future if I do glute Animal Kingdom, or the Satuli Canteen dessert, which is new and gluten-free or uh, I'm gonna see what park times and wait times are at other parks or if I even want to attempt a Genie Plus because standing in lines is not gonna be for me today at all. I also have about four or five foods I didn't eat at Epcot. So I mean, there's a bunch of options of what I could do. This is an unplanned day. Yeah, I know, brace yourselves, it's unplanned. You know me, this does not happen. Um, but we're, we're gonna try it, we're gonna see see what we want to do. Um, now, because I have the park reservation in Animal Kingdom, if I want to go to, if I don't cancel it and I want to go to another park, I have to go into Animal Kingdom, tag in and leave, which is a long walk. I really don't want to do that. So we're going to see um, what our options are to change that. Um, like I said, I might cancel the Animal Kingdom reservation and, and just play it by ear, but Ben Yezer first. I think that will help me get my brain around all of this. Also, good news, we're back on the regular camera. Whatever humidity had gotten into the lens dried out by the end of the day. It might even have dried out sooner than that, um, but we're back to normal, so I've got you. I also picked up the hook piece, so if I do have to switch back to my phone again, I can. Battery charged up. I think we're ready to go now. So I'm glad to have stayed at a royal room because it's pretty, but I will tell you, man, if I just want convenience, I'd be going to the bayou rooms. They are... So much more centralized, so easier to get to. Um, and again, knees. Um, the, the, like I said, the left knee is really bothering me, so we're going to cheat and do elevators right now. I just have to. Um, normally, I would have just walked down those stairs while these people are hanging out and playing. A very different type of traveling for me, that's all i got to say. See? Pretty fountain. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, it's Daisy? <gasps> oh my god! How did we not know about this? Is this a special event? Do you guys, it's, it's Chip and Daisy. I'm, oh my God, is this a special event? Look, it's yeah, we're gonna run. Daisy, so they just randomly do meet and greets. This is kind of awesome. We were late though, so we're letting them go. They have acorns to catch. But Lou, look, it's Daisy. It's your favorite. We're going to get to see her when you come here in December. That's the van. So if you ever see that van, that means that they are doing meet and greets walking around. Welcome to the magic that is Disney World, guys. You never ex Did we expect that when we were leaving our room? Did I get photos? No. I talked to, to, to Dale. Um, he was very sweet. His friend said, watch out for it. There's a horse in the middle of the walking path. I said, watch out for the horse. Don't, don't run into it. So he stopped, went back, and went around it a second time. That was so fun. All right, we're off to go get the boat, because it's time. And here we are. Coraline's French Quarter. Oh, 
the Netherlands. Hmm. Okay, oh, changing plans. So, the more I thought about it and the more I know how much you have to walk just to get into Animal Kingdom to get to see the good stuff, I, I, I failed on that. So, now we're headed off to Magic Kingdom. Um, I already, I just broke down, I did Genie Plus, said what the hey, and uh, booked a lightning lane. I think about Port Orleans French Quarter. They only have, they have two bus stops, it's just the two. Um, and if you're going to and from the parks, unless it's Hollywood Studios, you're like the first stop, you get the, or the, you, you tend to get your own bus, or you just get the best seats. It's much more humane and peaceful. So. Right now it says it's 157 till Epcot. I booked a 235, excuse me, um, Lightning Lane Genie Plus Fast Pass thing. That's an hour from basically now. And as soon as I tap in, I'll see what else I can get. I just think I'm making it a Magic Kingdom day. You know, uh, Epcot I did yesterday, and honestly, I mean, I would love to go back and do Moana's Journey of Water again. I could spend hours in there. I could, really, that was awesome. Um, I slept in, I let myself rest, because I know tomorrow's gonna be rough. My, I have to get up around 3.30 tomorrow morning, yes. I'm being picked up at 4.10 to go directly to the airport, check my one bag, and then my flight's at 6.10. Yes, I know I'm cutting it close, but I do have TSA pre, and it's a first thing on a Monday morning. I don't know how bad the traffic's gonna be in terms of that, but I'm hoping it's not too bad that early. We'll find out. Um, that being said, brain, brain, brain. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, Epcot just left and that was the 136 bus, it just took off. So they're kind of on schedule. Yeah, I mean, all of them, I must have missed all of them. They're all like 20 minutes away. If I'm lucky, they'll come sooner. I can't count on that. But uh, I'm, I'm taking it easy today. Like I said, I decided, as much as I love Animal Kingdom, and don't get me wrong, that is one of my favorite parks. I can't do any of the rides there right now. You know, the, with the brace and everything, I could do the shows, um, but I couldn't do Dinosaur, which is one of the ones I love. I didn't bring motion sickness bands, so I can't do Flights of Passage. Um, I'd have trouble getting in and out, I think, of, um, I mean, and maybe I'll make it work, of uh, some of the boat rides, which I mean, I'll have the same issue with Disney, uh, Magic Kingdom, to be honest. But, and I had thought about going to Universal and doing, I brought my stuff to, if I wanted to do that. I just didn't want to. Not today. Not, I don't want to go as much as I could normally go running hither, thither, and yon with the, the body brace and the knee braces. And it's just, I can't go as far. I can't do as much. And I have to suck that up and deal. Um, but I just stopped and did the beignets. And, just, and I, I, it's interesting, I went to modify my reservation for Animal Kingdom only park available to animal uh, annual pass holders today was Magic Kingdom, which is weird. Now, granted, in another two hours, once I check into Magic Kingdom, I could go to any other park. I have friends who are going to be at Hollywood Studios in the afternoon and Epcot in the evening, so I might join them, but I also realize that if I want to have even a, a sense of a humane night's sleep so I can function tomorrow, because I do need to function tomorrow, I would probably need to be going to bed by no later than nine o'clock or in my room by nine and that means you know I'm not looking at fireworks um, the only park I could close out would be Animal Kingdom at seven so I, I might even consider to do the reverse of what I did because it's starting to get darker early and it might be that I do Magic Kingdom now and chill out and you know do buzz do a couple other rides that I can do with the Genie Plus and then close out the night at Animal Kingdom till seven o'clock I'm, I am now still looking for myself to plan a nice dinner. Now the problem is when you're a singular person, they often don't find availability for you. And if you put two people in, so more availability shows up. Three people, more availability shows up. And I realize they want to fill those tables, but suddenly I can't eat at a restaurant, you know, because it's just me. And that's, that's the problem with solo traveling sometimes. So I am... The other thing... Oh, that's what I need to do. I'm going to see if I can call... Disney's customer service and see if I can address what happened with Cinderella's Royal Table the other day and see if I can get that money back because I'm really depressed about that and just whimper at them. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll work. You know, it may not, but I'm, I'm going to try giving that a call and seeing, seeing what I can find out. So we'll see because I've got 
another 15 minutes before the bus gets here. So I will talk to you later, hopefully when we get into Magic Kingdom, get some pictures, have some fun, and we'll talk soon. Here we are. You'll notice there is Christmas music playing. No, it is not Thanksgiving yet. All this means is that it's not Halloween anymore. I got Hollywood first. You have to. Yeah, you have to call Hollywood first. Yeah. You can have Hollywood drive. Change the reservation. Okay, Here we are. 100th anniversary Christmas. La 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 la. It's funny. I used to uh, always get and collect these. I don't even bother anymore. Decorated for Christmas. Tree and all. It's so early. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Oh, when I see this many people here, I think parade is about to happen. I don't think parade is about to happen. All right. So I had been told before that the popcorn place was not safe for us, but I have since been told that some people have gotten the popcorn, which would mean that it could be made for us based on ingredients. I'm furious. Fortunately, these, as I watch them make it, because if they had different scoops for things, that would be one thing. They use the same scoop for every piece of food. Um, at that moment, mm -mm. if you are celiac, for sure, and then with a lot of the other allergies and things, yeah, I would not recommend it. So, we are gonna just walk through the air conditioning, because it is warmish today, and I am wearing a lot of extra layers. And we can also see what's, this should be the 100th celebration stuff. Making magic ears. All kinds of fun stuff. All the ears. I always like looking for the dresses, but I think they started moving those out. I love this one. Roz's wonderful bed not seen. I love live performers making actual live humor and playing off of the audience. It's a little bit scripted, a little bit improv, and that's where the magic comes in. Shout it out if you know his name. Mike Wazowski! It's Mike. Who's heard of Mike before? Wonderful. That completes our mic check. Yay! Hey everybody, I'm Sam, this is my sister Ella. Together we're Sam and Ella. <laughs> <laughs> now we are here to tell everyone a story about something that happened right here in Longstropolis. It features you as the star. Except for that guy. He's Say what? what? <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, he's done it. Right, well this isn't about that guy. This is the tale of two monsters. The first was a hairy scarer named Sully. Show me Harry. Hello. Oh. Me and a best friend named Mike Wazowski. There he is. Hey. You're sporting two eyes, Mike. Can you have just one eye? Good job. Perfect wow. job. Wow. <laughs> Breathe. You oh. who? You're boring me. <laughs> Wrap it up. Oh, she's mad. You've got to finish your story fast. Right now? Yeah, hurry. Right. Right. <gasps> Set to get up, buddy boy. Yeah, I'm going to demonstrate for you my incredible and amazing mind reading power. That's right. I'm what they call a telepathetic. <laughs> yeah. Now that was a little more crowded of an audience, so they don't always do in the middle of the day. They do the the Sully, uh, Boo, Mike story. They don't necessarily do some of the other silly stuff I love, um, but it was still a good show. And now I'm in line for my Lightning Lane, which has a line. But because now I'm standing here, I have time to try to look for another. Again, welcome to Walt Disney's hey Carousel guys, Progress. We're taking a break at the Carousel of Progress. I'm very excited children. about the show. I've got some kids with them. I hope everyone has a good time. Perfect. Let's get it. Now we're going to sit back and watch welcome the inappropriate Walt things. Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for hey, so I just got out of Carousel of Progress. Still lovely inappropriate humor, some of it these days. Um, uh, people Mover is down, which is sad. That's something I would have done today. Astro Orbiter is not, but I will, don't like that one. I have a currently a 445, I believe it is, for Haunted Mansion. Um, 
and I'm trying to see if they call it fiddle faddling, but either that or Jingle Cruise. If I see something small pop up just for that, I'm going to keep an eye out for it. Otherwise, now I think we're going to try maybe an alternative Dole Whip. Because, you know, there are Dole Whips, you know, the standard ones I always get. But there are other flavors that are soft serve that are technically Dole Whip. So we're going to see what we've got. There are options out here. Everything's so decorated for Christmas. Lots of Christmas. Um, over in the distance is Tron. I have no interest to go there. Everyone else can. But I think we're going to just do a slow walk up through Fantasyland, see if there are any short rides. But... This is a Sunday and it's crowded. I was kind of hoping it would start to empty out, but I think by the time it empties out, that's when I'm going to be heading somewhere to get food and go be done for the night. Um, the only other thing I can do is see if there's a walk-up option for Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, just so you know, I did call them just in case and they said I was already scheduled for a refund, which I thought was lovely. So since I let them know early enough, they were able to refund the ticket, or the, the purchase price for the meal. Um, it takes about 10 days, so I don't see it right away, but that's okay. All right, so let's just go see what's out there. Make a lovely day out of it, shall we? A quick running buys. There's a stitch saying hi to people, but he keeps trying to walk away, and they keep following him. But it's nice that they have a stitch moment. That's awesomeness. That's very nice. I love just when they do have walk-around characters. It really only happens in Disneyland, not Disney World, but it is still nice. So let's go see what else we can find. So I just finished a, a lovely Sunday, which I talked about in a, a dining review, probably. Uh, that's uh, Dole Whip and, and lovely stuff. I'm waiting for this thing to come in. Um, I have a Haunted Mansion Genie Plus booked at, in about 15 minutes, which means in about 10 minutes I can go in. And I'm seeing some of the other things I'd love to do. Pirates has like a 535, so I'm thinking I might even try to get that one next if it doesn't go too much later. It'd be nice to go see Pirates. Um, and Small World right now is only a 20 minute walk in some, oh, one of the, I love when the janitorial staff does this. They actually can go to classes where they um, learn how to draw the different characters. And then they learn how to draw it with uh, their their brush, their paint brush, um, a bucket full of water and and a broom, basically. And they will paint Disney characters on the ground faces. It's so much fun. That was Pinocchio's house. So I'm right outside Pinocchio's house right now, where I'm eating carousels in front of me, castles uh, but beyond that. And actually, I just heard like um, you know. Uh, um, which we call it fireworks go off because I think they just did like the Friends of Fantasy parade. Um, you know, it's peaceful, and I, I, I'm, I'm watching a lot of people melting down. This is kids meltdown time. The sun is starting to set. It is 4:30. It is actually a little chilly in the shade, mildly chilly because it's 77 degrees. But when you've been in that hot, hot sun, your body just feels it a little more intensely. Um, and I just had Dole Whip. Uh, this has been a very peaceful, very nice trip. I'm, I'm, I'm debating, like, because I... The thing is, if I go to Haunted Mansion first, and I tag in there first, then I can tag another thing like Pirates and not stand in line, and then come back here and do Small World with the 20-minute wait, or the like, you know. <clears throat> or uh, Philhar Magic with a 15-minute wait, where their Genie Plus is like, now. So I could do it, do that, and come back. But Pirates, I think, is going to be harder to get later. And Philharmagic, honestly, with a 15-minute wait, you're the same as everybody else. You're not getting anything special. Um, so I may just do that. Because it would be nice to sit and watch that and figure out what I want to do for dinner. Because um, really, all I've had today are uh, beignets and a sundae. Which is not bad for Disney, but I probably need to do something a little more substantial. So Boat Rights is in my resort. And that's a possibility. Um... Cajun food, which is not always my favorite, but if I stay at Riverside, I probably need to try the food there once. And I've heard they do some really nice stuff for gluten-free. Um, there being where I am right now, I could take the boat over and do Kona, or I could do Ohana potentially. The problem is, now this is something as a solo traveler, I come up across the parts that you guys wouldn't. So I'm going to go right now and I'm going to go check dining availability. And I'm going to be honest and say that it's only me 
and it's today, and it's after 4 p.m. And we're going to see what it gives me. So I've got like 50s prime time, Amare, Be Our Guest. Boatwright still has an 8.45, but I'm going to try to be in bed around 9 if I can. It may not happen, but I'm going to try to. Um, a lot of these places at 9 o'clock, 9.05, Citricos at 8.30, Enzo's at 9.15. Grand Floridian at 820, Hollywood and Vine has times now, but I'm not going to Hollywood Studios right now. Vallejo at 5. Kona at 9 p.m. But they have a walk-up list. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe, oh, Narcosis at 515, but I'd have to leave now. And I want to do the Hollywood Like in a perfect world, 6.30 is what I'm looking for. And that's really hard to do because that's prime eating time for everybody, and I know that. But I couldn't even get Narcosis earlier. Sure, Spice Road, Takumi Tay at 7.45. But then I'm all the way at the back of the park again. I, I can't walk it. Oh, it would be so good, too. I love Takumi Tay. Um, oh, there's Crystal Palace. The Edison I turned down a few times, but I'd have to get all the way out to... Uh, Disney Springs. Here the plaza has an 840, which is too late. I know, there's reasons for everything as I complain about it all. Um, yeah, it's been 9.15, 9 o'clock. So, some of these restaurants have walk-ups. I'm really tempted to just go and walk up and see what they've got. You know, to do that at Kona and Ohana. Because I'm curious to try. They now are making a gluten-free version of bread pudding as of the recording of this. And I really want to try that. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to go go uh, hit the restroom, go over to Haunted Mansion, ride that fast, 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 fast. And as I go in, I'm going to try to grab Pirates and see if I can keep it at that early time. Um, if that works, then I'll try either Small World or Philhar Magic. Probably Philhar Magic. I haven't done that in a while, and that's kind of nice to sit in a comfy seat. Um, and if that's still decent, maybe head over to. to um, small world while I'm waiting for pirates and you go to, pi uh, go to pirates. I don't think I'm going to get Jungle Cruise. Um, that's the only one I would really want to modify any of these for. Though truthfully, I mean, I've got a Jingle Cruise already. It's a 45 minute standby wait. I can't stand that one right now. Um, and that's, that's the big thing. I cannot stand that one. And it would be silly for me. Yeah, they're like, oh, you can book at 5.15. Yeah, that's right. But I also could just get another one. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do, pop this away, let me hit the restroom, and we're going to head out. Walking up to the Haunted Mansion. Now again, I prefer to ride this ride at night. Not for any other reason, then you'll see more of it. Okay. And I love with you. that. We're in the lightning lane, heading in. That means I can chag in and try to find another one. This is the section where they're going to be adding the head box ghost here in this hall. We miss you here. I'll find you back again in the land. I'm really glad I got the lightning lane for this. This seems to have seriously backed up. We'll see what the wait time is. Because that's lightning lane and regular. 60 minute wait right now, it looks like it's bigger. As I was in line, I did what some call fiddle faddling, but I kept refreshing and refreshing to see if I could see if there was a better time. And there was. So, uh, 5.05, which is now. So we're just going right to Pirates. The Amazing Rose. Awesome. Uh, a whole lot of fun. Um, that was the Friends and Adventurers experience, the, the small mini parade. Um, I have feelings about it, but I like seeing all those characters. That made me happy. Um, and there was a gentleman who kept squatting down in front as people were doing what they were doing, but he was making sure he was out of the visual way so people could take pictures and people could do what they needed to do. And he'd get up and he'd do something he had to and they'd come back and squat down. And I went, you know, that somebody who's working hard isn't necessarily getting anything for it. And I went to give him one of my bags of candy. 
And I looked at him, and his tag said he was from Rutgers, which is my alma mater. I was like, from a fellow alma mater person. Thank you, and have a great day. So we just talked for a minute about Rutgers. That was fun. Man. Who's doing casual meet and greets? That's so awesome. Favorite game they used to have. I put a screenshot of the actual thing, but that's really nice. You can tell by the sign where I'm standing, there was an incredibly generous and incredibly kind person who took pity on my trust up situation and uh, got me ahead of the line, which I am grateful for. That was very kind, and you know, if there were multiples of us, it couldn't have happened. But it's me, and it's just little me, and she was sweet. All right, so, now, hold so Sarah, wherever you are, thank you, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> now my name is Skipper Veronica and I'll be your tour guide here on the world famous Jingle Cruise. Now I would like you to keep an eye out for any missing cargo. We had some Christmas decorations that were supposed to be delivered, but I do believe some of them missed their mark. So if you see anything, let me know, okay? Okay. Now the first stop is going to be here in the Amazon River. Here in the Amazon, it can rain for up to 365 days a year, which is almost every single day. I know that's a lot of rain. We do have a lot of wildlife and insects here in the Amazon, including these humbugs here. And you can see them on both sides of the boat. If you listen very closely, you may actually be able to hear their call. Ah! <gasps> Did you guys hear them? The boat humbugs? We do have Skipper Sully's boats made to fight. And oh my goodness, I think that I can spot what Skipper Sully got for Christmas this year. Canoe? You know, this used to be our cartographer group. I'm not quite sure what happened to them. But oh my gosh, looks like these gorillas are ready for their annual Christmas party. Their decorations were delivered. You know, I guess parties they throw are pretty bananas, but unfortunately I wasn't invited this year. We're now at one of our older attractions at the Jungle Cruise. This is one of my personal favorites. You know, I think it rocks, but uh, not everyone shares my sentiments. A lot of people do take it for granted. And now we're at the African Belt, which is home to a wide variety of animals, including the uh, bearded reindeer, the long neck reindeer, the small reindeer, and the old reindeer way back there. Yeah, those ones that are still in black and white. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think this is Skipper Felix right here. You know, he went out with the crew this morning and I told him to keep everybody inside of the boat. He did not look up to me, but I do suppose he'll be getting the point in the end. This is his girlfriend, Ginger. They were very good this year, so all the skippers pitched in to get them what they really wanted for Christmas. A cross pot. Is this, this family up here. You know, sometimes it's good to change up your holiday traditions. For example, look at these guys. Yeah, they decided to take a holiday cruise this year. How nice. Now, before our time together ends, I would like to wish you all a uh, Merry Christmas. A Happy Veronica. Oh, and almost, I almost forgot, you know, a Happy Canoe Year, of course. All right, everyone, go ahead, stand on up, and get out of my boat. Of that ride. Thank you again to Sarah. A um, few things I would love to have done, had them do, but everyone does their own jokes. So, awesome, awesome moment. All right, so now we're heading out. I think what I'm gonna do, it is now 6.12 and dark. I am gonna head over to try to put my name in at Kona and or Ohana to see if I can get a table at one of those, because I want to see if I can try that pineapple bread pudding. If it doesn't exist on either location, then what I'll do is take a, a minivan, because uh, minivan right now. Well, actually, minivan basically to the main building at Riverside and see if I can get a reservation at Boatwright. Finish up my night at dinner with dinner somewhere. Guys, I, I hope you've been enjoying this. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, it's helped you figure out how to make the most out of your time at Disney, how to travel as an adult, how to have just fun, make that magic come and travel along with you, please remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff, and don't forget that I don't have a tagline.
Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?